So I just got done watching this Power Rangers short film that has actually just been taken off of YouTube. This has been around for a few days, so yeah, I'm a little late. I admit that. But when I just read that it has been taken off of YouTube, taken down, I said, fuck, I never got to watch it. I'm late. And now it's, it's off of YouTube. And I was frantically searching long and hard. And I finally found a website that didn't use YouTube to show the video. So if you two haven't seen this short film, I implore you to keep looking. Because maybe, just maybe, you will find it like I did. This short film is badass. I, I was a little skeptical. That's why it took me a few days to even care to watch it. Because Power Rangers is something that I grew up on as a kid. In the 90s, that 90s TV show and the movies that were based off of that. I loved it. It was, it was some of the coolest stuff ever at the time and then when you get older and you grow out of it or especially whenever I go back and see like the Power Ranger TV shows that's still on TV now they still do it it's all really cheesy and corny and I just I can't really get into it now I'm even afraid to ever go back and watch the 90s stuff just because I don't want to ruin what's in my memory my brain of how cool I thought it was but watching this this is amazing this is this is badass. I know that there is a reboot for the Power Rangers planned for 2016. It's not going to be anywhere near as dark as this, but they probably are going to go in a more serious dark route for that. Makes sense. But this, this was hardcore. The beginning where you see them in battle and the effects look amazing. They spent some money on this short film, just seeing the giant robots fighting in the background and then the Power Rangers in their costumes, like it looked real. If you had told me that this was a real movie, I would have bought it. And then you get to a point where James Van Der Beek is interrogating Katie Sackhoff and uh, Katie Sackhoff, I'm a little surprised that she was willing to do something like this. James Van Der Beek, I might not be as surprised, but I gotta be honest, he was great. This is like the best acting I've seen from that guy. And the whole backstory on him used to being a, a Power Ranger and he turned on the group and, and, and he just fucked them all over and got them all killed or at least somebody has been killing them off one by one. First of all, seeing the Power Rangers get killed one by one was quite disturbing. The fact that people did die at all in this was just something I had to get used to for a second. And... Uh, the Black Power Ranger, first of all, is awesome. He's a badass. The one scene where he goes in and basically takes off, takes down this this gang of, of guys, and you see him kill them viciously with guns and knives. I mean, I know one of the actors, I forget his name, from the original show, he watched it and he said he didn't like it. And I'm not going to say he's being uptight or he's being all you know, politically correct about it. Look, I get it. When you think of the Power Rangers, you don't think of this necessarily. You don't think of this being bloody, violent, uh, rated R. But you know what? If they were going to update the Power Rangers and, and do it, this is what I would want. So, fuck it. I liked it. Even the Green Power Ranger, I thought, he was a badass. His slow reveal and how he popped in at the end was very cool. And this was even directed well, shot well. Great cinematography. This was directed by Joseph Kahn. I don't know who he is, but I need to start knowing who this guy is. This was amazing. I loved it. I mean, what more needs to be said? Again, if you haven't seen it, try your hardest to find it because YouTube, it's, it's not on YouTube anymore. If you have seen it, though, let me know in the comments below just how badass did you think this was. <laughs> if the movie can be just half as good as this was, I'm all on board. I loved it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!